Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone My name is Catherine Angelusiani I am a student of an English education study program And here I want to ask you all Have you ever heard of lexical relation? Hmm, okay There are a few ways to characterize the meaning of a word We can do it through morphology, phonology, or even through its categorization, whether it is animate, human, female, or adult. However, that is another way to characterize the meaning of a word, namely to characterize the word through its lexical relations. Lexical relationships are the connection established between one word and another. There are a few common types of lexical relationship. Yeah, the first one is synonymy. When words have the same meaning, they can replace one another without altering the meaning of a sentence. The example is quick, fast, and speedy. Doesn't necessarily hold of For all synonyms, consider some of these pairs quick or high speed, quick or brisk. When we do the same sentence exercise as above, we will get radically different meaning. The key to remember with synonym is that although they have a relationship in meaning, they don't always have the same meaning in sentence. That is the important thing to remember. Okay. The second one is antonymy. Antonymy is precisely the opposite of synonymy. With antonymy, we are concerned with constructions which are opposite to one another with respect to lexical relationship, like ice, hot, beautiful, ugly, and big, small. The antonyms work differently when we hold as an assumption a literal of strive forward view of discourse the third is hyponymy hyponymy is similar to the notion of embeddedness meaning the semantic of one object is implied by another for the example is cat is hyponym from animal barack obama is Hyponym from human, chair is hyponym from furniture, and so on. Hyponyms move from either specific to general or general to specific, where general is at the top of the hierarchy and specific is at the bottom. So, hyponymy is the idea of embedded semantic features in a hierarchical order. The fourth is polysemy. Polysemy deals with construction that have multiple meaning. The word with many meanings is over. The word over can be used more ways than countable. For instance, she lives over there. Is different from she lives over the hill. It is have different meaning, okay? The fifth is prototypes. Prototypes help explain the meaning of certain words like odol, not in terms of component features, example, pepsodent, chiptaden, formula, and so on, but in terms of resemblance of the clearest example in indonesia when we want to buy mineral water instead of mentioning mineral water we instead ask aqua to the seller the sixth is homopons when two or more different written forms and different meaning but have the same pronunciation They are described as homopons, for example, bear kelanjang and bear beruang, meat 
daging and meat bertemu to untuk dan to terlalu knife pisau and night kesatria they have a um, different written forms and different meaning but have the same pronunciation it called homopons different the seventh is homonyms the one word in the same written or spoken has two or more unrelated meaning for example is most in animal and most and in computer hardware even the written or spoken is the same most but they have unrelated meanings the another example is date date refers to time and date refers to meet the person we like okay the last is polysemy polysemy is two or more words with the same form and related meanings for example is head um, an object on the top of our body and head the top of company like a headmaster and another example is foot of mountain and foot of body even we translate it to Indonesia the head is kepala and the headmaster is kepala sekolah it is the uh, have related meanings okay and that's all the material i can explain i hope it may be useful for all of us and if you have any question just comment below thank you for attention and bye see you next time thank you